The makers of Jet Engine, Jet Menu, Jet Blocks, Jet Elements, all of the other Jet plugins has created and released a new Jet pop-up plugin. This is a pop-up plugin that allows you to add modals to your site that's very customizable, um, that's very interactive with your clients. And in this video, we're going to go over how to set that up on your site. Hey everyone. My name is Donald and I make WordPress video tutorials. If you're new here, consider subscribing to the channel and be sure to click that bell icon to get notified for whenever we upload a new video. All right, so let's go ahead and dive right into this. So I'm on the, the Zimmer's website and we're gonna just take a look at a few things right here. We can choose different trigger events. So when they open a page, when they try to exit a page, if they're scrolling, things of, their, things of that nature. Um, we also have different appearances. So you got your classic right in the middle, some sidebar pop-ins, uh, bottom and top bars. And then we can also have like bordering. So it can be in a left corner, right corner, things of that nature. And of course, full screen view right there. All right, from our dashboard, we've already gone ahead and installed Jet Pop-Up and we have a new menu over here on the left-hand side. Let's go ahead and navigate to Pop-Up Library because they have been so grateful, gracious. Because they have been so gracious to provide a library of pop-ups that we can already just import and use right out of the box. Now they do have some categories up here that we can check off and it will go ahead and sort those. And then of course we have a beautiful view of which we can view all of the different pop-ups that they have to offer. So we have the, the a bar, a sidebar ones, and a couple of middle ones right here that we can see. And of course we have currently six pages of pop-ups that we can go ahead and and use already right out of the box. A couple different things down here. Uh, you can see the different categories here. At the bottom you see the user's choice. So it's been uh, how many times somebody's actually used this plugin. So you can see which ones are the most popular to use. We also have the required plugins. So it'll let you know when creating a plugins that a third party plugin is used to create that. So in this case, Jet Elements is used to create this pop-up. And of course we have the option to just click on the eyeball and it will let us view what this pop-up looks like. It shows us that we have a transparent opacity uh, dark background and then we have the spring sale and a bunch of different images and text and a subscribe form right here so we can go ahead and see all of that. So we have different options there. We, like I said before, we can go ahead and select different categories right here. So I'm going to go ahead and we're going to go to all pop-ups and you're going to see that we don't have anything right here. This gives us an option to go ahead and add a new pop-up, import a pop-up, and click pop-up pop layout. So add a new pop-up, let's go ahead and do that. And I know by the end of this video you guys are going to get tired of hearing me say pop-up, but that's just, that's just how it's going to have to be. So let's do this, we're going to name this one a testing pop-up and then click publish. And then we're going to go ahead and edit, edit this with Elementor. Now right out of the gate we are prompted with a um, opaque black background and then we have the Elementor page builder right here inside of the actual modal. So if we go down here on the bottom left hand side we have the settings. And this is going to be all of the settings for the pop-up that you're going to need minus the actual content. So over here we have the settings. We can choose the animation. So we have all of our different animations for it coming in, so vertical flip, and you can go ahead and preview those. Uh, slide in, down, things like that. So we have all kinds of different options. We also have open event. So on page load, uh, in activity time, page scroll, percent, try and exit, on date, we have all of those options here. So let's click on page load. And of course we have an open delay. So if you want to wait a minute, you type in 60 seconds. If you want to wait two minutes, you got 120. If you want to show it immediately, you can do that. And then how many times do you actually want to show this? So on page load, you really don't want to show this every time somebody loads a page. So you can really just click show once for that. We have the conditions down below, and then we have a drop down to show on the entire site, a singular, 
And we also have the archive option. So if we choose singular, it gives us the options of different single post types right here. So we have posts and we have pages. And I'm sure if you had a custom post type on your website, you can go ahead and choose that there as well. And of course we have the archive options right here as well. Let's go ahead and choose the entire site. Now we're underneath of the settings option. Let's go ahead and switch over to the style option. Now we have the pop-up container size. So right now the width is only 500 pixels, but we can go ahead and increase that or decrease it. And this is by pixel. We also have the option by percentage. So if we wanna make it 100% wide, we can go ahead and just type in 100 right there and it will be 100% wide. If we want 50%, we can also do that as well. Let's do 100% because I plan on making a bar that goes at the top or the bottom of the page. So we also have custom height. So right now this is just going to get as big and as big as you need for all of the content that you add into it, but you're more than welcome to make it a custom height if you wanna do so as well. And you can always center the content position in the middle or the bottom, depending on how you want to design your, your modal. Let's go ahead and turn custom height off. For the position, we have the horizontal position. So we have left, center, and right aligned. And if I'm not 100%, Let's go to switch 50%. You can see that we can do left, center, and right aligned right here. Then we also have the vertical position of top, middle, and bottom. And then I, show, I just showed you the content position, but it's basically the content inside of here. So if we want the content to be dead in the middle, we can go ahead and choose in the middle for all these. If we want it to be at the top left, we can do that. And of course, we have the bottom right option as well. And of course, we have the bottom left and the top right options right here. So that's how you can get that little pop-up to go right there. If you're looking to get maybe a sidebar pop-up over here, you can just choose the horizontal position of right, vertical position of middle, custom height of 100%. And then of course you could do your width of something like this. So there's your sidebar positioning that you have right here and it will just pop in from the side. So let's go ahead and switch this back over to the 100, 100%, and you can see that we do a full screen modal if you guys were interested in doing that. But I'm interested in, like I said, doing a bar at the top. Actually, let's, let's make it at the bottom so that we can go ahead and easily dismiss this. So we have that. We have the container background. We have background type of color, or we can do a gradient. And of course, we can add our images there. We can switch to our color here. So we have that. And then of course, if we have an image, we can go ahead and upload our image there and input it into the background. For the container overlay, we have those same options like we do in Elementor where they have the, the background overlay. So we can do an image, we can do a color, things of that nature. And of course we have those CSS and blend mode filters as well. We have the padding. If we wanna go ahead and add padding on the inside, margin on the outside, and a border radius to the actual modal we can do that as well as the border type and the box shout if we wanted to add those the close button we have enable or disable close button down here at the bottom right hand corner you'll see that and we actually have a way to change the x that we have to close the modal so if you guys have a custom icons for elementor plugin installed and you have your custom x installed for a specific x that you want so it's not so thick you guys can go ahead and use that custom icon. So we have the icon transform, so we can actually load, put a different um, location for the X and the Y. So if we want to go ahead and, and change that, we can do that right here. And then of course we have the Y, so we can do that up and down. And then we have the icon styles. So we can do the font color right here. We can do the background type, so we can make the background a different color. If we want it transparent, we could do it there. We also have gradient, icon size, if we wanted to increase or decrease that. And then we have the box size as well, so we can increase or decrease the box size, which basically puts it further away from the corner. And of course we have the same options for hover. We can go ahead and change all of those. The pop-up overlay, which is this, this background part right here. If you're familiar with any PNGs, you'll know that to show that it's a PNG, you normally have this checkered background so that you know that this is like a transparent 
um, color and then this isn't actually going to show on the front end of the site these checkers so if we want to use an overlay or not we can turn that one or off if you want to use an overlay you have this background type and you can choose a different color so we have very transparent to not transparent at all we have those options I want to go ahead and make this not transparent so I'm not going to use the overlay at all so let's go ahead and dive into actually creating the pop-up uh, with the content. So we have a couple things we can do. We can add a, we can add our heading in there. And we can style the heading however we wish. So this is a pop-up. We have that right there. And we can actually go ahead and just let's add a new column. And we're going to go ahead and add a button on the right-hand side. Make that right align. And then we have our background of white and then our text of black. Let's go ahead and make this border radius zero. So basically this is our simple pop-up that I just wanted to make real quick for you guys. Let's go ahead and update this. And if we want to preview it, all we have to do is just click the view post. So we see it right here. So we see that this is a pop-up. We have the button here and then we can go ahead and dismiss it right here. And then this will be the rest of our content right there. So let's go ahead and let's go ahead and actually view a page that has this. So let's go to our sample page. Let's view this. All right, we have all of our content here and then we see that we have that pop-up that came in from the top and then we have the button and we have this text right here and we can go ahead and dismiss it. All right, so I did click only show once, so it's not gonna pop up again if we refresh, but you have the option to go ahead and turn it on so that anytime somebody refreshes the page, it will go ahead and show them that pop up. Let's go back into here, and we're gonna go back to editing with Elementor. So we have that pop up right here, and you notice that the Elementor page builder didn't show on the front end because that's not how it's supposed to be. But you can go ahead and get very creative with these pop-ups. And like I said before, there is a library of hundreds of pop-ups that you can use right here. We can, all we have to do is just click this Add button. Click Yes. And this is going to go ahead and redirect us straight to editing our pop-up right here. So we have the newsletter. And since we don't have Jet Elements installed, it did not bring in that, that um, form right there. But we can always make our own. If we had Elementor Pro installed, we could just add a form right below the newsletter so that we can go ahead and, and collect that information from that person. All you have to do at that point in time is configure your settings right here. So we click our open event. So if we had an on-page load, a try on exit, things of that nature, and then of course we have our conditions to show on the entire site. So it's really that easy to just configure your pop-up to grab your user's attention so that you can grab information from them, offer them a free product or a discount or a first-time thing. There's a lot of different ways that you can offer that. And now with this awesome Jet pop-up plugin and the different ways that you can configure this to view on, on your site, this is really a game changer. And this is a, a good way that you can actually do like a notice to people so if you're having a sale or something like that, you can go ahead and add a bar to the top or bottom of your site so you can let people know that you're having a sale, but also give them the option to be like, okay, I understand you're having a sale, so I want to go ahead and dismiss this with the X button. So you can just do that. So it's a great way to, to notify customers of upcoming events or things of that nature. I hope you guys find this video useful. Be sure to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel for more videos, and we will see you next time.